What's cracking, YouTube? Back with another video. Man, we finna go ahead and try to go ahead and complete the suspension today on the video, uh, on the 89 box Chevy uh, LS Broham. So, we finna go ahead and try to complete the rotors, the calipers, brake lines, in and out of tie rod in, uh, sway bar, and the sway bar end links. So, we'll go ahead and try to get all this completed in this video. So, because I got to try to get it front end alignment and all that good stuff this coming week. So, we're going to try to wrap it all up on the front end. So, let's go ahead and start on this drive passenger side. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. I already got the passenger side pretty much installed. Got it all lined out, put together, and put on last night. So, got everything torqued down to spec. Got the uh, rotors, pads. Uh, only thing I got to put on here is the brake line on this side. I had to make some more clearance on this uh, spindle too to get this caliper to bolt up. So, we're going to go over here and put this other rotor together. I done tapped this, this one right here and that one so the uh, brake caliper can bolt up. So we're gonna go over here and put the brake caliper, the, the brake rotor together. Then once we get the brake rotor together, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna check clearance on this one before I install all of it like I did last night. So just in case I might have to cut some more of this off right here, cause that's what I had to do on the other side. I had to come down here and come all the way back in a little bit to even get that rope, that caliper to mount up on that side. So I done tap these uh, lines over here. This is my tap. I had to go, I pretty much went in, bought a whole set. I don't know if y'all can see that, man. Let me, this the one that you gonna need to tap your rotors for your rotor calipers. This the Cobalt 3.8 NF24. It's a fine thread. So, I done, like I said, done tapped both of these and done cleaned out the, cleaned out the threads real good, blowed them out good. Went ahead and got that set up so I can go ahead and slap this rotor together. And, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and put the other side on. I'm gonna leave this right here just in case. So let's go start on this rotor. Damn, I don't got my, I had to find my tripod. So we can go ahead and get the rotor together and slap her on that side and finish this damn suspension. Hey boy, washing these DCs up. Well, I bet he ain't watched the front of this ball. Well. A lot, Cal. He watched the front of that car? He watched the front of it this time. Man, Cal. I can't believe that shit, y'all. Yeah, your water lazy. My water lazy? Yep. What's wrong with it? That how it's blowing out right there? The water ain't applying no pressure, bro. The water ain't applying no pressure, but that's garbage right there. The yeah, I paid the water bill. How that motherfucker was? <laughs> no. I gotta wipe my head now. All right, guys. Let me go hit the light, get everything set up so we can go ahead and slap this together. I ain't got time for all that. Uh, got these hubs already torqued. Got this piece already torqued down. So, only thing I gotta do with this one, I gotta put my bearings in. I got my, whatchamacallit right there. Uh, pack my bearings, put the bearings in, put that back seal on. This one go on the back side right here, like this. Pack your bearings, put that on. Then your seal go on the back, boom. Then this goes on like that. Bam. But the only reason I know this is I read the instructions which you should do so too on your build. And these rotors are directional. That's how you know which side of the car they go on. They have an arrow on them. See, this one has an arrow on it, which means 
This one is going to be for the driver's side. The passenger side one has an arrow on it also. So, <clears throat> these... One, two, three, four, five, six. These six bolts that goes in here, you torque these to 25 foot-pounds. Okay, after you torque those to 25 foot-pounds, you take your... I think this will be called your hub bearing. I think, don't quote me on that. Look at the instructions. But this one is torqued to 45 foot-pounds. And you also have to use the red Loctite, red Loctite 271 for your rotors because you don't want these motherfuckers coming back apart because your ass will be to the flow, buddy, if them rotors come apart while you roll them. So let me go find my uh, tripod, set y'all up. Cause I'm finna time lapse you so I can slap this rotor together and we finna get jiggy on the other side. All right. As soon as I thought it was going to be easy and smooth on this side, I had to pretty much, I done painted it again. Should be about dry here in a minute. I had to grind that down right there, get some more clearance on far as mounting the rotor up. So I had to grind that down and had to cut this a little bit farther. So I tried to grind it a little bit, trying to smooth it up. So... Once they're dry here in a second, I'm finna go ahead and slap the bracket back on, uh, torque the bracket back down, slap the rotor on. See, I got my bearings on. I got the inners and outers in there. The other one is just sitting on them. It's the brand new castle nut that, well not castle nut, what this thing called? Uh, I don't know, whatever this damn piece called, go on the, what you my doodle? Well, you don't use the old one. They send you a new one with the wheel hood. And boom. <clears throat> slide on that with the new setup. So we're going to move that out the way. And we're going to put this on with the new bolt. They send you that. So, give me about a good minute, couple minutes of here. Let this dry. And we're going to slap this on. That way we can put that. Uh, in and out of tie rod on, tie rod in on, like the other side there. Then we're gonna slap that sway ball on, and we're gonna be done. So be over with. So cut y'all back on in a few minutes. Let this dry. We back. Oh shit, I'm gonna light that coat. Let me see my light coat. Dark fall finna catch us. We got everything wrapped up over here on this side. Yeah, see, we got the brake line installed. You got your rotors, your calipers, your in and out of tie rod, your sway bar. That sway bar ain't all the way installed. I'm gonna wait till I drop the car down tomorrow. Y'all see the little QA1 sign on it. But as y'all can see, 
I got those coil overs lifted up a little bit too. But uh, we on this side now. Putting the brake line on this side. Oh shit. For to try to get this brake line installed on this side so we can shut it down. Cut, hold the camera for me. Cut, hold the camera for me. Cut. Trying to shut it down, y'all. Shit. Trying to get out of it, man. Been acting the fool all day. Hey, quite won't believe us anyway. Pretty much. <laughs> Oh, we going over there and fuck up his spray. Yeah, whoop his ass and Madden. I ain't playing Madden so long. I might get my ass so up. I ain't gonna hold it. That's usually how it go. Please, <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's usually how it go, Ted. God damn. Shit. <laughs> Catching the motherfucking blue day. So shit, that's supposed to only took me a motherfucking hot 45 to an hour. I've been fucking with this bitch for a minute, cool. We always say that shit. Huh? We always say it's gonna take that little short amount of time. Turn out to be fucking forever. Be bold the fuck up. Man, I'm gonna have to go find. The line, that bitch don't want to come loose. Other side can't move through the all right. All right, y'all. Here we go. Damn. Here we go on some bullshit again. Always something. I damn sway boy already done about whooped our ass. All right, y'all. I gotta go find my lion wrench. Find my lion wrench. <laughs> Cut y'all back on. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Well, well, well. We back, y'all. It's the next day. Yeah, that brake line whooped my ass. I ain't gonna hold you. Whooped me down last night. Didn't get it loose until this morning. I got the torch for my neighbor. So I had to put some heat on it to get it loose. And then I finally got the uh, sway bar put in. The sway bar links put in. In and out of tie rod ends. The front suspension is complete. So let me show y'all how everything look. Get y'all the rundown. Got your brake lines on. Install. Got your wheel wood. Four piston. You got brand new in and out of wheel bearings, new wheel studs. You got the QA1 upper and lower control on. Oh, let me let out. You got your QA1 upper. That's the upper, my bad. Upper and lower control on. You come with your uh, QA1 sleeves. I bought the in and out of tie rod ends from AutoZone. So you use your factory in and out of tie rod ends. Uh, you got your brand new QA1 sway bar on there also. I ain't tighten up the bushes on the end because uh, you're supposed to sit the car down and try to tighten that up. So I'm going to see how I'm going to do that with trying to wiggle my big ass stomach up on the hill. But uh, I think that's it. I just greased the ball joints. As y'all can see, that grease coming out of there. I greased the up and lower ball joints. I greased the tie rod in. Uh, I got grease on these also, these bushes. Uh. I got the coilovers pretty much. Oh, my bad, y'all. I got the coilovers. I got to lock this down. Ugh. I got to go get my other wrench to lock that down. But also with these, you got to make sure you got your, your caliper centered on your rotor. So on mine, I had to put two shims on the inside and that one little uh, washer that you're supposed to put on this side. So I got two shims on the top and the bottom which sent up my caliper up on the rotor. And like I said, once again, you got your direction, your arrow on there will tell you which side they go on. So don't nobody jump in the comment section saying that the rotor on backwards. <clears throat> okay. 
That's your passenger side. Pretty much the same thing on the driver's side, guys. Pretty much. Uh, <clears throat> you had to center up your caliper on your rotor. Here's your arrow, which lets you know you got it going on the right direction. Upper ball joint grease, lower ball joint grease, new brake line. Uh, <clears throat> in and out of tie rod right in. Got this one greased up real good. I pretty much tried to pull the wheels in as good as I could so you can, uh, so they wouldn't be poking out or nothing, pointing the wrong direction. So pretty much eyeball, eyeballed it. Y'all see that leak on the front of that sign uh, on that seal on that motor? <clears throat> but hey, <clears throat> they radiator support. I'm gonna clean that off too. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a lot more stuff, guys. Once we get the engine out, cause I'm gonna clean that engine bay real good. Y'all see, I got this frame real good and clean. But once I get the engine out, out, see, it's like a lot of stuff that I want to clean up. Cause see, I'm gonna do it around this brake booster. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna get rid of that steering shell. We're gonna go with a uh, a Jeep steering shell. We gotta clean this up some more. Probably gonna end up pulling that off, clean it up real good, paint it, and put it back on. And uh, the AC box and all that is pretty good on this car because the AC and everything work. I am gonna look for a new inner fender for this passenger side. So <clears throat> I am gonna do that. Got the brand new tires. Uh, probably finna wait before I put the brand new tires on the front because I got some more stuff that I'm finna do. And I'm pretty much cleaning up the garage, getting all these boxes out the way. So we got the suspension complete on the front of the box. On the LS Broham box Chevy build, front suspension is complete. The rear suspension, we putting it up until we get the four nine inch ring. And I just got in the, the wheel wood brakes for the rear, for that rear end. My axle's supposed to be here Tuesday. So probably a little bit after the first of the year, we'll have a housing in the center section and the brake line. So that way we can put that together and we're not gonna put it in until we do the swap. So, but we're gonna have that together sitting on ice in the garage. We're gonna put it together and have it on standby. So, but yeah, guys, next video, we're probably gonna be getting this thing fired up, making sure we can work out whatever little kinks we got we're going to go get a front end alignment. I'm going to put it on the trailer. We're gonna, I'm going to take it and go get a front end alignment so we can uh, make sure that alignment is straight on it. And then we're ready for some ride. So y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all tune in. I'm going to holler back at y'all on the next one. All right?